Hey, hey there, Joy of the World friends and family. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, baby, ring the bell. They will notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here, Joy of the World, give us that big thumbs up, like and share, share with your peeps, your friends, your family, Santa Claus, Easter Bunny, Christmas down the street, I don't know. But let's get this word out about joy to the world. We're going to ring the bell of this world and get it all jazzed up. Everybody happy, living their bright, bold, best life, setting each one of us free to celebrate who we are and to bring it forward into this world for you and for me, friend. So this is a magic Monday here. I'm looking at the decks because I don't know what you conjuring up, baby. I don't know what's about to come out because it's magic Monday and you're like, oh, joy's going to be the fingers and we are going to stir her with our energy. And I'm like, Mm hmm. I tried to start this three times and went click off because I could feel some of that percolating up underneath because I often don't play into too much trouble along with the planets. I've learned how to just kind of um, be very adaptable along with how it all goes and we're about to hit a Mercury retrograde. So if you're wondering, tune back in because I'll post a short video just specifically about Mercury retrograde and how to set yourself in alignment with it. But also I'm going to do a Mercury mini read straight from Mercury itself so that we can find out a little bit more about what is coming up to get excited about it, right? To look forward to this instead of like doom and dread and uncertainty. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Those things have been spinning around the cosmos forever, baby. We're the ones who are here kind of new and shaky, so they just want us to vibe up and line up here. So, enough of that. This is a magic money, and so you know these are timeless reads. It's not for a Monday. It's not something that's happening today. This is an energy session for you to allow it to percolate and move through your life along with your spirit, your guide, yourself, your soul, to know how it infiltrates, how it can provide resonance and confirmation for things that you've been walking through to help you level up and power up into your best, bold, bright self. Remember, those impossible dreams, they come forward together because wherever two on earth agree, it is done. So be lined up, you good stuff baby dump the trash take out the trash get rid of that stuff it is autumn it's time to sweep those leaves on out mulch it compost it turn it into black gold that's what they do you take the things that you don't use and you compost it down and gardeners call that black gold because it enriches the soil when it's had time sunshine and rain and some oxygen thrown in there it becomes so fertile and abundant that you put it on your beautiful gardens and it helps it green up and come forward and be fruitful. So, enough of that. We have a little bit of the black tarot coming out. Ooh, what is, what, what? We got an accessory card already started up, up there. Look at this. Now I'm telling you, I was backing away from this read because sometimes y'all's hands are getting all in here and I'm like, back it up. What are you going to have me say? I don't know. Because lately y'all been diving and weaving in our sexuality, love, sensuality, pumpkin spice, all that good old seasonal stuff. And I'm like, Shoo. I don't think I put my big girl pants on. I better put them on right now. So anyways, they, I was getting all the decks cleansed and prepared because you know, I don't like to shuffle much on camera to save you time and the noise. And these went and they came on out and I was like, what? And they were like, Joy, don't even look, just stick them aside. And when it's time, we're going to have you pop them out. So it is time. Now, I don't talk much with this deck. It seems to be reserved for special occasions. And they were like pointing the finger and saying, if you use only one, you better get that one. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what's about to happen. And maybe that's why the trepidation. But some of you, I can tell that they're, the love and commitment and excitement I have towards y'all is behind it. So I have a feeling this is very much the energy that we're prepping and setting right now of you guys coming in, feeling the season turn, feeling kind of some of that stuff percolating underneath the surface, wondering, is it trepidation? Is it fear? Should I be afraid? What's coming in? Swift change, uh, swift metamorphosis, COVID, what? I don't know. And what I can say is there is some knowing in the unknown some unknowing of the known. It's the juxtaposition of that type of energy coming in here. It's like, don't think you know everything because the moment you do, you're going to fall for something and not something good. That's the fool unto death, not the fool unto life. We want to be the fool unto life. We want to be the open channel. We want to be, you know, cleansed. Like butterflies don't have backpacks, right, baby? Get rid of baggage. And like I wish I could right on these eyes, but shoo, something's been going on for a minute. 
Uh, so anyways, we have a, a handful of cards out here and we're going to take a look through it. But right now, the general overall look of what I see going on is there is love trying to come on in come on in if you many of you that's romantic right um and it's different than the way you thought you would see it ask me how so we're going to take a little track here first let's take a look at these guys and y'all hope this lighting helps because whoo it's, it's bright it didn't work on my other setup but it might work over here but it's talking about opening up you know you've come out of this heartbreak you've come out of difficulty codependency um being played remember how we talk about graduating into the school of life away from the seesaw the player and the being played the cheated being cheated upon that type of energy you know and being able to step into life where you're in your uh, authority and your authenticity and being able to give yourself permission to pursue your dreams and to step forward but this mind coming off has really brought in this new mentality this new understanding of what it is to reciprocate what it is to have a relationship because relationship has to do with the two-way street otherwise it is not a relationship it's a ministry it's being somebody mama it's you being somebody daddy because i got men and women about 50 50 you show up to this channel so man i see you and thank you for being here so if you ever hear me clarify, that is why. But it's being able to have that reciprocation, that relationship that is a two-way street. That two-way street isn't just being able to give and receive love. You can think it is, but the person on the other end, in order for it to be a two-way street, that person has to be willing to receive the love you give and give love for you to receive. Okay, so it has to complete a circuit just like a battery in your car you got the finest car on the planet rocket fuel up in there nitrous whatever i don't even know glass packs all that stuff the boom boom in your radio and if that battery ain't connected baby where are you going you leave the lights on door jar nobody home where are you going that battery might be alive and still be dead that's what i gotta say so here you might have a relationship but it could be dead because it's not connected and moving through so that's what we're talking about when we're communicating about wholeness here and i love that you're bringing in because it's like y'all been riding this joy of the world way the jttw for a minute and y'all are shaking me up and you're like joe we on board come on follow us and i'm like what you know buckling up to get ready because y'all understand the vibe of what we're talking about here and i love it because you're showing us it's that new idea being in power and authority of your mind, over your will, over your choosing, and not just being played into chemistry. Because that chemistry can be a thing that is like a catalyst that you don't want, like a spark that leads to an explosion. And you think, whoo, they'll stir me up. They draw me all in. And then it goes south. It goes sour. That's that old way. That's this one, remember? The, the playing, the, the karmic bonds, those type of things that um, are lessons from our chart which I also believe I will create a video on to teach you about how to overcome karma. And I know people say karma is good or bad. Oh, you know what? I don't need time. Daddy Saturn is my ruling planet because I am a Capricorn. Capricorn sun, my Mercury is paired right up next to it first house. So talk about knowing the identity. It's not just of myself. It's of the sun, of the solar system, understanding the planets because they choose to talk to me. I didn't pick this, y'all. Maybe I did on the other side, but down here I'm learning and I'm growing. And the thing is, is, and that's ruled by Saturn, it's ruled by systems, but Saturn is very playful and creative. Maybe we haven't seen that just yet. Maybe I haven't talked about it much, but he loves to come in and play and bend time and, and create wormholes and move us through and fast forward us without losing any of the benefits of the journey, like to time warp us, things like that, time travel, um, you know, very sandalfon and Metatron being able to sandalfon particleize and, and reassimilate on the other side where you go in, you gain information, or to be Metatron where you begin to work the channels and the doors to be able to formulate a whole new system going on. That's sad, and y'all, that's that my ring around your mind, not around the collar, baby. So, anyways, being able to come in and play with that, and that's what Saturn's really wanting to do, is to step into this energy of this mindset that y'all are talking about, this idea of love, and no longer having to play or be played, no longer having to have any sort of struggle or karmic bonds. We're here to have streams, okay? Streams are like the strings of the cosmos. They are the thing that moves around the energy that is where our alignments are, where our placements are. You could call them sextiles or quincux, or you could call them squares or oppositions, things like that. They're streams. 
okay? They're streams of communication between our planets and our positions and the houses and things that they're in. So we'll talk a little bit more about that later. But for now, as being a, allowing this new idea to come in and this understanding of what relationship really is, because when we accept that at what it really is, we won't keep accepting this. Let me, let me help you right there. This. Mm-mm. Because mm -mm. that creates resistance, uprising, polarization, struggle, recovery, resurrection, expense, 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 time, energy, love, heart, soul, all that stuff. All that stuff is not even necessary. So here, you're asking us to step into this new idea. Because you can see down the bottom, there's been a bit of that shattering and that breaking heart, okay? But so you can see you're recovering here and going, okay, well, that's not how it has to be. I want to be real. There's a real person in here. I'm more than just a machine. There's order and there's uh, operation into what I'm going into. And so I'm going to use the lessons that I've learned, the growth that I've obtained, and begin to be creative. You know, Joy's telling us to sit here and get in contact with Siren to be able to see how I can move the energies to be to my benefit, not to take advantage of others uh, uh, ever. Okay, but there is this thing that they talk about about tuning the streams puts us into the eye of God along with the four angles, and therefore we're able to um, enjoy the advantage of who we are when we level up ourselves and we step into our sun or soul and miss our bright, bold, beautiful self, which is what the joy of the world is central about. Then we level up and we come into reality, it stabilizes and at that point. There's no more flux, and heaven comes to earth and all the resources with it all the resources innate and inherent to who you are and they become real kind of like the velveteen rabbit no longer just real to the boy but real to the whole world seen touched all that so now you are a point of contact between here and where you came from between here and what you've been through all this type of things so you're a fantastic and fabulous resource not for people to use and utilize that's why you take advantage of yourself you offer yourself the advantage because if not, people are going to take advantage of you because they're like, well, the advantage is sitting there. Somebody got to use it. I might as well use it. They don't want it. I'm going to use it. And that's where the whole ch -ch 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 karma and karmic bonds is coming from. So instead, they're saying color our world with this. Color our world with this because remember over here, there was the polarization, right? You see that going on there and the playing, the tricks on the mind, that type of thing. Well, what happens is our poles... Uh, the color of our poles are actually red and blue, right? Like our blood, like red is oxygenated blood and that's moved by the arteries. And then it's used and moved throughout and then when it needs to return, it's deoxygenated, thus blue, right? And then it's brought back to the heart to be oxygenated again. Well, when you mix together red and blue, we have a Sesame Street lesson. We're Count Dracula. We're Count Dracula. I don't know. Don't you call me that. I'm cute little joy, or at least I like to think so. We get purple, right? We get purple. And that's what they're wanting to paint your ceiling with, your mind, the covering of your mind. And not just like your thinking mind, like the true lining of your skull, of your brain, of your institution is what they're talking about. Of being able to implement and merge together the intelligence that comes on around along with our imagination and allow them to become that interplay, that, that circuitry. Y'all pause for a second. Now I'm going to leave the camera run so I don't have to splice this thing, but I know what cards they want. Hang on. Ooh. Okay. Thank you for waiting. So, and it snatched one of these. I'm telling you, the moon came out with it. Talk about, you know, um, being saturated in it. So they want me to get these. Okay. So um, the imagination, the mind, all meld together. Remember the heaven on earth, this type of energy we have going on up here at the top, right? I heard you stop. Again? Hello? I shuffled it and said, stop right there, Joy. I don't even know. And they're like, and you will see yourself and be seen. That's what truth is. Clear as day, plain as day. Surrender. Surrender to yourself. Surrender to yourself, my friend. There is a wave of electricity moving through it. Is it is currency. 
And we know currency is also money. Currency is that connection. Currency is what is throwing, flowing through the battery, right? Enlivening that whole fine vehicle that you are, your transportation vehicle, yourself, your imagination, all that stuff. Talking about moving on up. Surrender to yourself, because look at this moon, there's that polarization. Do you know what? When we bring it together into the purple, this is you going into the deep, swimming in the deep, in the cosmos of yourself, into the melding of the mind, and the mind becoming whole with the plasma and the cosmos. Mm. Do y'all understand the implications of that? I don't know if I even do, but I'm letting it, I'm swimming in it. I'm swimming in it right now, and I feel that the one place that you can be blocked, where it's like pushing... It's almost constricted to move through like, like the neck of a balloon or the neck of a bottle. It's right here. Right here. Not the head, y'all. Yellow. Yellow fella in the belly. No yellow bellies here. No, no cowards. No being afraid. Do it afraid. Do it scared. Say, okay, I'm feeling a little something. Remember that trepidation we were talking about in the beginning? Say, I'm just going to color it excitement. I'm just going to call it excitement. When they measure it on a graph, they found when they... um you know those sensors that they put on people and they test them when they, people begin to get anxious or worried that it is almost the exact same movement on there as excitement so let's just go ahead and call it excitement because excitement means okay i trust myself i'm going into this i don't know what's going to happen because remember knowing the unknown and unknowing the known that's exactly what this is it'll change everything y'all okay Okay, <laughs> and you'll see where this is all coming from because you're like, Joy, those are pips, those aren't hearts. And I'm like, they are, they're vials of love, they're vials of passion. Pips have to do with passion. These cards are whatever they are. They just tell the truth, that's all I know. Because then we have coming the ace, the ace of love, right? All those wishes, all those dreams coming true. Your lifetime. The thoughts and the wishes and not every single little whim and wish. It's not that. That's the beauty about our self, our soul, our future self, our divine self, heaven. Gathering all these to bring it to earth is they knew your heart. They would look at your heart, not just at the wish of the mind. They would look at the wish of the heart, okay? And that's what's coming in. It's coming in with beauty and splendor. It is that relationship that we were talking about that y'all are calling for and asking to bring forth, okay? And it's all the pieces. It's being dispersed and blown. It's coming to land here on earth to scatter the seed and not scatter you, baby. Because you don't want all that love just on one day. Cause, I mean, that'd be like eating all the food for the rest of your life right now. You'd be like sick. You'd be like... Mm -mm, too much, too much. So that's the dispersion of this big love, of this big, divine, juicy, connected, battery-powered love. It's electric boogie, woogie, woogie, boogie. So you're like, Joy, you don't need to talk about love too much because we already understand that. And I'm like, okay, straight up. And now you're moving this down under to undergird and support. So let me look because it undergirds and supports, it begins to put back your pieces, okay? So as the seeds of your love are scattered so that you can enjoy them here throughout the ages, it's also at the same time reassembling you and putting your heart back together in a way that you never could. And that's wild that it was starting here in the beginning. It was like it's already done. It's being come, it's being come, becoming and putting together yourself. Okay, so this is going to go underneath and undergird. So give me a second to take a look here. Mm, mm, mm. Baby, roots up, fruit dance. Stop. Stop. Roots up, fruit down. You know, talk about some fruit in that lower shock where you're like, baby, I've been working so hard. The moon's all up in my mind. I want some shine down below. And I'm like, y'all, come I Give me a break. No, really. No, really. You just shocked me a little bit. This is what we got going on. It's like digging out, making room, making space. You're making space for somebody to be in your world, in your tangible world, not just in your nether world, down below, all that good old stuff. But literally in your heart, the heart space of your body, because our heart isn't just here, it is throughout, it is throughout the eyes. Check out Scorpio if you want to know about the eyes. They've been teaching us about that. But you can say you have room to be intimate with somebody, but intimacy is more than just sexuality. It is 
can you listen with fervency? Are you able to support somebody and come alongside them with true happiness for their success? Do you also have that room for the circuit, the battery, and remember for someone to also celebrate your successes? That's talking about us being in balance, and that balance isn't just like the temperance, the balance of oneself, the Libra, that type of thing. It has to do with energy balance, connection balance, circuitry balance, because remember you were talking about that relationship here early on. That's two people, okay? And being that we can't be in charge of another, it was reestablishing the understanding and the concept of what relationship truth actually is. Because see, a five is one hand, right? And you have another five. You got five, five. You can clap, baby. You can celebrate, right? And that's what this is about and what it's bringing. And so it's that tree of life being on the inside for you, for it, your soul to be fruitful and to be abundant and the roots, which are the strength and the resourcing power to be able to rise up into our world, causing wonder and mystery for others to see and be like, what is that? And guess what? It draws them into the intimacy of your story. So for some of you, I'm picking up strongly that you have a leadership role in our world. You have a, a governance role, and that doesn't mean like go sign up on the next ballot. No, of self, of like connecting with others in a role of walking alongside, journeying with, sharing with, connecting with, um, breaking down principles and processes, and not demanding of others that that's the X Y Z of how it works. Because a principle is something that can be applied um, organically to each system that it comes in contact with, right? So this is the one that was sitting on the top when I was trying to show y'all the deck earlier. And I'm like, why is, why I held it up and it was looking like this. And I'm like, how is that happening? And they said, Joy, there's a shadow card over here. And I'm like, okay, let me take a look at the shadow. See what was just hanging off, lurking, just like this. Just out of you, friend. What is just out of you for you? What is just out of you? Okay. Mm. Superhero. Is there an Aquarian here? Aquarius was the superstar, the superhuman this last week. It was fantastic. But each of us really is when we come into our true self. But it's about a playful nature. When you come into your playfulness, you come into your mastery. Because at that moment, remember, you're not afraid of Mercury. You're not trepidatious anymore. You're anticipating. To anticipate something coming is like preparedness of mind. Imagine two people playing, you know, professional tennis. Oh, no way. That has only happened a few times. Forgive. We got some readjusting to do. Hang on. Let me get my, my speaker. Okay. So... I don't know why I'm playing tennis, okay? My, my camera must have gotten all excited or hit by the tennis ball. I don't know what, but thank you for sticking with me. And so it's that thing. You, they can't be trepidatious when the other one's about to serve the ball. They have to be anticipating. Anticipating isn't just looking through here, y'all. It is looking with full peripheral vision, the full scope, the full 360, very owl energy being open, very um, soaring through the skies, like I love Osprey, that type of energy going on, very Godhead, very uh, superhuman, that type of energy going on here. And that leads to playfulness, the ability to respond and respond responsibility feeds in back to this relationship and caring because if someone isn't responding or responsible, meaning the giving and receiving, remember, okay, then you have nothing to come from and nowhere to go. It's just a ministry. It's just going to leak. It's a leaking vessel. It is something that is, has some vanity in it, okay? Not saying ministry is bad, y'all. It has its place, but it is defined as such from the beginning. It doesn't have to be, you know, negotiated, debated, none of that. It is done from the beginning. But these other things being proposed as connection and navigating connection and bonding and relationship and all that, uh, from the get-go, hello, it needs to be in some scope of this. Playing around with that playful energy, being open, anticipating a bit of what's to come. And that's to be connected to someone's energy as well as your own. And to be there, to be there, to be present, not to be all playing. All right, so that stirred up the room when the camera fell. And sorry about the wall looking all crooked now, y'all. I promise it didn't turn my house upside down. So let's find out a little bit ooh, about this week. They shut out. Y'all are moving into the future quick flick just like that. You're like, pick them up as a pair, Joy. 
Because last week was talking about in order to move up, moving up is moving forward. I don't remember whose read that was. Maybe it was Pisces, but moving on up is moving forward. And this was a get go to the forward. You're ready to run in it. I don't know if your head all understands yet. I don't know if mine totally does till I sit on the other side of the camera and watch this with you guys. But I can tell you your soul is. Your soul was already on board, remember? Already on board, making room for this to move on through. Remember these come in together, so I'm going to read them together and then show them to you together. Home, partnership required. Celebrate. Things are looking up. So celebrate the partnership. And this is partnership in your home. And our home is our self, not just our heart. It is our whole self. Remember, we are the whole zodiac. The tuning of those streams, beginning to feel at home in your own self. Because when you are and you realize you're fantastic and magnificent, why you tune in to joy the world? Because you know we know you are, baby. You're shining like the sun, looking fine like wine. And we love it here. Because as you do that, you stabilize and you begin to know who you are. And you aren't going to settle for all that other junk right and you level into the truth here no more of that broken heart and that teetering on the seesaw you graduate into life university and you begin to live and be a creator right it's like hi y'all that's what it's saying right here so i do want to get a cosmic tarot i want two cosmic tarot for you guys and a pearl and then i'm gonna let you skip on out of here Mm, thanks for, I see you, for joining me in my home. Prince of Swords in the Hierophant. Mastering your mind. And this isn't you working at it, baby. Okay, love, this isn't you having to strive and struggle and earn this and deserve it. It's none of that. It's not hard work. It's not discovering of the self, overcoming the ego, blah, 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 blah. Because nah, uh, not here at this channel, Okay. That's not what they've taught me. The thing is, is about trusting yourself, stepping into yourself. Know thyself. That is what we're about here. Because when you begin to know yourself, tune into every zodiac mind, somebody else's, I don't know, whatever. But as you begin to understand your chart, it's not just where they're all placements. I have, you know, a handful of houses that have nothing in it, but I still learn and grow from those. And two of them are my MC and my IC, and they are highly pivotal in my life, Okay. But here, this is about know thyself, and then you don't have to keep walking in this self-control, which has to do with a bit of that becoming that we were talking about over here, because this mastermind, this understanding of the self that you began to have was being connected together with this love, with the heart, with the full understanding so that you can be in your wholeness, so that you can have your whole self, the eye of God, that, that being tuned into your streams, which has to do with kind of like self-confidence. Oh yeah, they are the nose is itching. But way more with self-assurance because when we're self-assured, we don't have to assert ourselves. We don't have to assert our ideas on others. We don't push principles. We're not principle pushers. You know, we're not out forcing and selling ideas, ideas manipulating in the lives of others, hoping that we gain more clout and influence to back up who we are as a person. No, we're like, good. We're in our slot. We're in our zone. We're in our flow, in our go. We're glowing up. All that. It's all so good. And like, look at that. This is your soul to your soul. Your soul. Your soul coming on in. And it's that soul confidence. It's that self-assurance. It's that knowing of thyself and knowing your mind. Knowing who you are. And knowing how you operate. Because when you navigate with that, you're not going to get caught off in the fray, in the dross, in the noise, in the static, in old people's business. None of that. And you're not going to get sucked in either. When you know it and you know yourself, you're totally at peace. And it's like your vibration is impenetrable. Remember how we talked about the stabilization? That's what they're reiterating here. They're saying, Joy, this is the stabilization. When you celebrate who you are, you become incredibly stable and you become that connected. They're showing me that this is reiterating the tree. Roots up, baby. Roots up. From the ground up is how you live. Fully connected to this earth, to your life, to your purpose. And not giving up your square foot on the planet. I see it like we each have our own postage stamp under the square of our feet. Wherever we go, there we are. That is home. That is our hallmark. And we don't need to be pushed off of it or trying to get on somebody else's. And the moment that we focus on ourselves, we don't even hear any of that anymore. We don't even think that way anymore. We're totally in ourself. Therefore, we're receiving our messages, our connection to ourself. 
can very much into this melded energy of the whole mind, the whole self, the shining sun, the radiant one. Well, mm, if y'all aren't amazing, I enjoyed it. Thank you for showing up here. Thank you for sticking around. Remember, this isn't just for Monday, so rewind and watch again if you need to. And look forward to Fridays, which isn't just for Friday. It's more power up for your information. And if you feel led and you want to know about those streams in your eye, God, tune in to all the Zodiacs. I don't care where, when, whenever. Go back to the playlist. I have close. I'm nearing 300 videos now, and so you can just go through and go through one that calls to you, okay? Because your piece is in a puzzle box. We don't pull out a puzzle and do piece number one, piece number two. It's not a puzzle, right? And who we are is not something that needs to be solved. We're something that's being discovered. So discover yourself. Discover yourself. All right, Miss Joy, I love you. Bye.